Hello, everybody. Welcome to Gloria Horn Sewing Studio in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And today is Serger Saturday. And um, so first of all, I'm just going to kind of get some things out of the way. Uh, if you are on Facebook and this is your very first time with us, you'll need to and you would like to shop with us, then you need to go in and create an account. So you'll go up to the comment bar and type in register and then go in and create an account, put your first name, last name and your email address and then you can come back and watch us. If you're on our app, you are all set. Um, and to shop with us. So the app is a, is a really great way to, to view us because you can watch the class now and you can watch it later. You can watch it. Uh, they'll hold it there for about a year. Um, and so you go to the App Store and type in Gloria Horn Sewing Studio and download the app, the free app. And then um, and you can uh, watch us and you'll get notifications if you like when, when we come on. Uh, and then also um, shipping is eight dollars unless uh, with a seventy five dollars it's it's free and um, so and if you we will combine orders so if you shopped with us yesterday and bought something and you want to sh buy something today we'll combine it if it wasn't up to seventy five dollars and then you'll get free shipping it's like a 24 hour period so um, then we also are on other um, social media, what do they call them, apps or sites or? Mm -hmm. platforms. Okay. Mm -hmm. platforms. Platforms. Okay, that's okay. I need the official word. Um, we, we cannot shop there yet. Um, so they, we have, um, YouTube. what is it? YouTube. You, YouTube, TikTok, and Snapchat, and anything else? We're actually not on Snapchat. Oh, not yet? Okay. <laughs> they, um, we're not on uh, Twitter. We're not on Twitch. Okay. We are not on a few places, but we'll be back on there very soon. Okay. Everywhere right. live mm -hmm. streams are found. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't have a mic on, so oh, maybe yes. you yeah. should just say wherever live streams are found. Yeah, wherever live streams are found, we, we will be on there. Um, not today, but very, very soon. And we're also going to be able to shop on those um, places, mm -hmm. too. So, but if... Um, but until then, the app is the, the best way to, to view us and to shop with us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, um, we, are doing, we're, we are having a lot of fun with this. Um, Sarah, this is all Sarah's idea. She wanted to do this, right? Yeah. Sarah's my niece. I am Joni mm -hmm. and it's a PJ. Business. Yes, uh huh. <laughs> and um, so we um, are following this book. It says, uh, so you. Sew for yourself. And what she chose to do was a pair of pants. And yeah, right here. And she wanted to do this. And uh, so tell them what so you did. We're upcycling. So I went to the thrift store and I found a throw um, that I liked. And um, luckily, it was just enough fabric to cut out mm -hmm. the pattern for these pants on the front cover. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And we're going to be sewing a pocket today mm -hmm. and darts. Yes. And okay. maybe get to some other things too. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we yeah. might do a couple of side seams. Okay. So what she had done was she finished off all her edges and I had her do that because um, the seam allowances on the um, Serge are, are just three eighths of an inch, and um, so I wasn't ready for her to do uh, like a four thread overlock and do the seams yet because we want to know how they fit her. Mm -hmm. So um, and so she's she's going to make a couple of pairs, right? Yeah, yeah. This is just my first shot at right. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, so I'm just following along uh, with all the instructions that are in the book. Um, and so the very first thing was is to cut your pieces out and your interfacing and zigzag around the edges except for the waistband. Okay, so, we, so that's what she did. And the second step is to sew the darts in the back pieces. So that's what we have um, here right now. And we, um, for those of you who have been sewing for um, a long time, you're used to using um, tracing paper and a tracing wheel. And I brought mine with me. Um, 
Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, and we tried it, and because of the fabric, we just couldn't get it to sh to uh, show up. So I'm going to show you what we, um, what we did so that she can sew her dart. All right. Um, so the, this is, um, and we had them cut out on a single yeah. layer because it, it was easier to do that. So right here is our dart, and uh, we pinned the the pattern piece back on. And so I we tried with the tracing paper, and it just didn't work. So um, we took a couple of pins and kind of put them right where the, the dart started around the waistband, like that. Okay. Right here. Okay. And then right here at the tip, I took a pin and we stuck it right in there like that. Okay, and then we kind of took off the pattern piece. But before you do that, we want to mark, there's a couple of markings on the pants that uh, we want to see later. And mm -hmm. that is right here. That's where the bottom of the zipper is going to be. So we're just going to take the, our, our uh, friction pen, the one, and I found that I think uh, the one with the felt tip is better for this fabric. And we're just going to make a mark right here. So then we'll have that for later. We'll have uh, we'll know where our zipper is going to end. And then over here, there's another little. Um, they just we used to call them notches, uh, but they just put little lines in. And this is where her pock, her side seam on the back of the pants will meet up with the side seam on the um, the front of the pants. Okay. So then we're going to take this off. And. Let's see, there we go. We have our little, what do they call that, uh, row barrier? Yeah, something a little, little like cone. that. Yeah, a little cone. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this out like that. And what you can even do is just stick another pin in. And you can ah. see, yeah. So you can, I, I don't know if you can see it, but I, I already did this one, but I'm going to show you how to do it again. <laughs> and um, so there. So that's the tip of the dart, and this is the top of it. So then we'll take a ruler, and we'll use our friction pen. And we'll mark that. So I, there you go. Yeah, you, they can see that now. Mm -hmm. So we have this one. And Sarah's going to do all the sewing. <laughs> okay, all right, and then so we'll do that to both pieces. So we didn't do the other one yet, and and we can leave those pins in there. So, so there we go. Okay, to the side, and we want to mark the wrong side. Okay, here it Thank you. All right, so here. Yeah, you flipped yeah. it over. Yeah, I flipped it over because remember we have a right and left mm -hmm. side. And then we'll just match up our edges. That's the part that's so confusing to me. Really? Yeah, because yeah. I was like, what if we have two of the, or a wrong piece or sewed the wrong one together? Oh. But I don't. Yeah. This isn't. Your first rodeo. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll put that here. The question is, what what is the fabric, Sarah? Um, oh yes, tell them. It I don't, was I don't. a blanket, um, just like a throw with flowers on it. Yeah, I. Don't, I with would the, call it, it's a throw. Show them that piece. Yeah. And with the, um, I'm sure many of you have them in your home still, but they, you know, they were very popular. And she went to a thrift store. So mm -hmm. go ahead and tell them. What, I don't think you have another one, but it's a, yeah. it was a pretty big size throw. Yeah, it was pretty big. I, I started cutting it before I measured how big it was. Mm -hmm. um, but luckily, we had just enough fabric 
yeah. um, to make mm -hmm. a size small. Yeah. So you can kind of see the border of the blanket on mm -hmm. the bottom, making hippie flares. Yeah, everybody who, all our older customers are coming in and saying, this takes me back to what. The nostalgia. Yeah, so I'm marking those two little places where the zipper will be and where it will line up on the side seams. And then we'll do the same thing that we just did right here. So we'll mark where the zip, there we go. And then right here. Okay, and then we'll take a pin and put this in the center like that. And then we'll take everything off. Gonna take another one and put this will be our tip. Okay. okay. Yeah, and then we'll get the roller and just gonna take where it's go from pin to pin. it a little bit more. You can really see what it. What kind of fabric is the throw made out of? Or the, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. It I must be like woven, would woven material. Right? Yeah, I would think it just, it's uh, like a polyester, maybe acrylic, it's acrylic, acrylic. probably acrylic. Mm -hmm. But um, in the book, it does kind of give you examples of what good fabrics to use are. They do mention that anything too thin is probably not a good idea unless that's what you're going for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the pants, um, it, it, there is a pattern that comes in the book and you can make the pants with um, a flared leg, a straight leg, mm -hmm. or a yeah. wide leg, and it has pockets. So for yourself. Yeah, because a lot of people didn't see when we cut these out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so you can tell them. Well, yeah. I so flare. Let's yeah. find um, straight leg, and then like a wide leg slack. And I think that's it. Three okay. different pairs of pants. Mm -hmm. Jenny, here's a question. Jean okay. asks. Uh, this is a YouTube question. Taylor tax. You know what those are? Yeah, I do. Yeah, and we thought about that too. Say, can you say what Taylor tax? Taylor are Taylor like? tax are like you. We used to do them by hand, and you would sew through the tissue and both layers of the fabric, like, um, and then you would just do them by hand. You make these little loops, and then when you uh, separate them, you'd snip, and then both of your pattern pieces would have these little threads that you would match up. Hmm. Yeah, so those are tailor tacks, and but this um, we thought this was another good way to do it, and so now what we're going to do is match up our lines. So we're just going to fold this, and I'm going to put it now. I'm going to leave that pin there because it's the tip of the dart, and let's see. We want to go like this. And we'll put a pin in. We want to make sure it goes through that line that, that I just drew on the other side, like that. And you could also, and this is the way I was used to doing it, I put them in like that and made sure they matched up. And then mm -hmm. as you sew, you, you kind of take it out. Okay, so we're going to do it that way. And then right here, we'll put one more in. This one, we're getting close to the edge. Okay, and then this one, I'm just going to take that so I know that's the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's going to sew along this line. Follow, then take the pins out as you go. And when you get to the end, you can back stitch up here. But mm -hmm. when you get to the end, you're just going to sew off the edge. Okay. And we're going to tie it by hand. Oh. And, okay. 
And um, the reason why we don't want to backstitch there is because that can cause like a lump and then your oh. dart won't lay very nice from the outside. It yeah. won't look nice. Okay, so we have that one and then we'll do the other one. Then we're going to go this sewing machine. Let's see, where did the other... I think right we have, there it is. Okay. There. Are we going to use the the serger for this part or just this one we're going to use the sewing machine so we're garment sewing and when you do that you do have to like go back and forth with um from the serger to the sewing machine so for this but for a dart we're going to use the um this uh, this the sewing machine we have the solaris here and then we also have a brilliant that we're going to show later which is a really nice machine for like garment sewing also. Okay. And then we'll do this. So you mentioned the tracing paper. Is that something that's important with the tracing wheel? Uh, yes, we'll yes, that, I guess. yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll have to get Gloria. I, it was funny because I brought in my old tracing paper that I had for years and years and years and uh, a real nice lady sent, sent us a little gift and in my gift was some brand new tracing paper <laughs> yeah so okay so we're going to go over here to the sewing machine and sarah's going to sew now we're at the solaris and okay okay so when and i was um so we're going to go to the straight stitch um we're going to go to in the utility stitch menu number one and we'll select stitch number three and it's selected a um a 2.5 stitch length and whenever you uh sew together garment seams you will always use a um a 2.5 stitch length there you might do basting and change the stitch length or you might come around a corner and change it to a real short one but most of the time when you're putting seams together you'll use a 2.5 and that's all set up for us our needles in the center and i'm going to turn off the um that right, right here because we're not using it and later on we'll turn on mm -hmm. our laser light okay so um i do have the, we can we can backstitch, so we're going to have you do that by, I'll turn it on for you, okay? okay. And, and then we're not going to cut at the end, okay? So you're going to sew on that line. So whenever you are sewing, you always pick out a guideline for yourself. And her guideline is to sew right on that line. And, and also the pins are there, and you're going to kind of pull them out as you go. Okay, and then we'll just lower the foot and, all right, there you go, Sarah. Okay. Now, when you come to the end, you're just gonna sew off the edge. Okay, gonna move that out of the way. Okay, and then you can, and I think you can see your line there. There you go. There, so with back stitch, you can go ahead and keep going. There you go, okay. And just kind of stay on your line. Yeah, I'll get you, yeah, I'll get you something to put your pins in. So Sarah's learning to sew, and I, um, I'm really happy to teach her because um, she's got to take my place someday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I say, now you come, that's it, just sew off, there you go. And then just kind of, now, you'll raise your needle Okay, you cut your thread. Okay, that's oh, all right. You cut sorry. your thread. That's all right. Oh, okay. no. That's all right. <laughs> well, we'll think of something else to do. You know what? Just yeah. go over it. Go over it. So, yeah, okay. I just want them to see. I yeah. think you got mixed up. I know. I just, yeah, okay. Just do I, it again and sew over that. And then just sew off the edge. There's well, back stitching. That's okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Now, you're going to raise your needle and then raise your foot and then pull it away. Okay, so you have a long tail. All right, and she's gonna snip it. Like there? Yeah, and then just take those threads and tie them. Like I usually tie them like three times. Uh -oh. Moment of truth. There you go. One. 
And then your next one will be Two. perfect. Yeah. Three. Okay. And you can snip those threads then. She's got her um, little... Um, a little bling. A little bling. Extender. It has a little crown on it. And she's got her scissors right with her. Yep. Okay. All right. So then now we'll have you do this one. Round two. There you go. Here, I'll get your... And then... Let's see what the... Oh, I think I want to bring that up again. Okay. Okay. Just got to double check. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Now, it didn't backstitch that time. That's all right, because you know why? We didn't touch the reverse button. Okay. But that's all right. It'll, it'll be fine. I'm not able to see this one as much. Maybe I should have gone ahead with that. The first one was probably the one I, I went over yeah. twice. But yeah, I, I got an idea from like the needles. Yeah, too. and you have the, where your tip is, so mm -hmm. that, there you go. All right. Okay, now you can, yeah, that's it. Okay, perfect. And snip. Okay, so that's her darts on her back. And we're going to press them now. I'll we'll make sure the iron's on. We'll bring them back up here to the... the main stage. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know okay. if that worked. But... Okay, Ooh. what do you think? Looks nice. <laughs> she's, she's very excited. She gets <laughs> excited when she sees that it's, you know. Wait, it's I always, I, whenever I sewed garments, I always felt like when I had all the pieces at least together, that I really was, you know, almost done. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, so that's our back. And now, when we um, press the dart, um, you're going to press um, towards the side. Okay. You don't want to press them towards the center. You want to press them towards the outside of the pants. Okay. So that would be right here. So this is where the crotch is, and then so we're going to press them over this way. And we're going, we want to, now, we always used a ham. I, for those of you who've been so, sewed years ago, it looks like a, it looks like a ham shape, and um, it had a wool um, cover on it, and it was filled with sawdust. I made one when I was in college, and I brought it in here, and it was hilarious because it's so old. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, is, but since we don't have one, um, it's always best to kind of press uh, something that's curved on a curve. So I thought this would work out really well. This is um, for so pressing your seams open. And so we're going to take this and kind of let it hang off the edge right here so that the it'll come, it'll be flat when you get to the dart, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to press this 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 way, and there you go. You want to do that, Sarah? Sure. Okay. So there I press go. it mm -hmm. away from the curb. Yeah, yeah. Like, see right here, she can kind of get in there, and it will press flat. And I give it some steam. Oh. Okay. We probably should add more water. There you go. Okay. Good. So you can see yeah. that it's nice and mm -hmm. nice and flat. And then if you want to here, we'll get it on this side too. Might there as you well. go. Mm hmm There, there's there goes your steam. Mm -hmm. This is such a cool iron. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's cordless. Yes. Okay. And then we'll do the other one. Oh yeah. See, okay. And then we can put the the backs. Go? Right there. Okay. Yeah, I guess I moved that over there. <laughs> so it's away from the curve. Yes. Yeah. Right yeah. from yeah, that's it. There you go. To 
just like that. Mm -hmm. And so the, um, the steam and the wool cover are kind of helping that to, to take its shape that you want it mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. Away from the curve. Mm -hmm. This is going to fold the other way for a sec. Mm -hmm. It just needs a little more water. But yeah, we have water. Here, I have, oh, that's, but mm -hmm. I, it's doing the job. It's yeah. hot. Mm -hmm. Hot enough. Okay, good. Okay, you can see now how it's going to kind of fit your body. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not flat anymore. Yeah. Okay, so we're done with the back, and now we're going to do the pocket. The pocket's really cute. So let's spring over, and I, I we did one because I thought that was kind of a lot to do on air for the very first time. Mm -hmm. So um, this is what it's going to look like. So it has, there's the pocket and you can put your hand in it. And what she did was um, we chose another piece of fabric for the lining and um, so it wouldn't get too bulky. And then she designed this. She, this was uh, part of the border and she wanted that peeking out on her pocket. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get started with that. And so we have, um, here, we're going to first, we'll just kind of go over the pieces that we use. So this is the, um, the pants front. So we'll take our pins out. Yeah. Yeah. You go, go ahead and. You can guide us through with the directions. There we go. I'm going to grab more pins. Okay. Here's some pins. Oh, yeah. Go. Okay. A little. All right. Oh, they even have cargo pants, too, in here with pockets on mm -hmm. the outside. Super cute. Okay. Distracting. There, there we go. Okay. So we're on step. Um, after we made the, the darts, we're on step number three. And it says to sew the pocket um, front pieces to the to the front with right sides facing. So we have our pants, and then we have the pocket front, and that is the the piece that we used a piece of cotton fabric um, to. And then we have the pocket back, which will be that little piece that sticks out. Okay. So then it says so we're going to do that. So we'll take the pins off here, mm -hmm. and. Do you want to do it, or do you want me to do that, or do you want that me to? It doesn't matter. Um, well, okay. Should we take the pins off here? You or should... no, we sewed it onto there first. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we're going to put this, and and go ahead, and you can pin. Okay. I don't want to. So should we have right sides together, and you'll put that pocket facing that pocket, the it's like mm -hmm. the front. They call it the front of the pocket. I would probably call it the po pocket facing. You know what? I, where do you want the pins? <laughs> okay, yeah. So <laughs> they, there is an art. Yeah, there is an art bit. to pinning. Like what I would do would be to pin this towards the edge, so that um, you could. You, like if if you pinned it this way, then you'd have to take the pins out. If you pin it this way, the sewing machine will just kind of um, sew over the tip of the pin. Carefully. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we'll take this and we'll put the, that there. And okay. So now we're going to go to the machine and she's going to sew. Now, all the seams on the, in this um, book are three eighths of an inch, which in commercial patterns like your, your McCall's and Vogue and Butterick, they are all five eighths, but in this one it is three eighths. So we're going to sew a three eighths inch seam right here. Okay, so we're going to go over there, and I'm going to show you how I set them, how to set the machine up. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I'll bring that up. Okay. All right. So we're going to. 
We're going to choose the um, stitch number three, and that's the one that will back stitch. And so we have the back stitch um, uh, uh. on, okay? And then when we're all done, we want it to cut, okay? And then we also have the pivot feature on, and um, so that's that's just when you stop sewing the foot raises, mm -hmm. and, and the needle's going to stop down. All right, so I'm also going to put on a laser light for her so she can uh, is better able to see the 3 8 in seam allowance. So we're going to go up to this little mark right here and touch that. And then uh, we want the, the guideline on. And I guess you, you can probably see that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's, we have... It's on three, one fourth right now. Yeah, because we... Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, remember when we did like, the top mm -hmm. stitching. So the the main one, which is that red one, is the needles right in the center, so that's that's fine. We're going to go to the sub and we're going to move that to three eighths. And so we're going to um, just hit the plus button. And you said it was nine, nine and a half? Nine and a half, yes, yeah, see. Okay, there we go. So that's at nine and a half. So now we have our line so there's where our needle will be and this is the where the three eighths is you can see there's a quarter inch and a five eighths inch and then the green mark is just an eighth of an inch past the quarter so when she sews this she can put the edge up on that green line and it's just a little bit uh, more helpful it easier. Mm -hmm. yeah okay right. so you're gonna so we're ready yeah you're gonna lower the foot and it will it will back stitch so there you go, and then just keep going. And before, remember, we did the other side, and you had mm -hmm. to start where the curve was. So that made it a mm -hmm. little harder. Now you're going to end where the curve is. Here's my green line on the edge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get that. Okay, now just stop. Now, just touch your reverse button and take your foot off the foot control. See it back stitches? Does it for you. And it cuts the thread. Cool. Cool, yeah. All right, so then we're going to come back over here and we're going to press that. Yeah, Ruth Ann says she can't wait to see you model them. I hope they fit. <laughs> I'll have to make another pair if they don't. Yeah, that's, she bought a couple of throws, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do have a couple. Okay, so you're going to press this towards, um, here, we'll take this this way. And kind of press the seam towards the, the pocket front, they call it. Okay, mm. here you go. You want to grab that. Yeah. Okay. Mm, is that okay? Mm, yep. Okay. Got it. And then we're, and then let's kind of get it from this side too. There you go. And we just went down and stairs and found something that would match to, um, use as the pocket. There you go. There's a little curve right there. Okay. All right. All right. Then you're ready to top stitch that. So you're going to press right on the, the put the seam right on the edge like that. And you're going to press that into place. Okay. There you go. <laughs> nice. Mm hmm. One more. Mm -hmm. Do you want that to be like real flat? Um, you want a nice, like, kind of crisp edge there. Nice crisp edge. 
Crazy. Yeah, okay. and you have that. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay, now she's going to go to the sewing machine and she's going to um, sew a quarter of an inch away. She's going to top stitch it down. So we thought a couple pins would help help you to keep it laying in place, lying in place here. Yeah. <laughs> There we go, just a couple. And then we'll go to the machine and we'll change that laser to a quarter of an inch. There you go. That looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right, over to the machine. Okay. okay. So. Okay. So I'm on the... Um, Still the same stitch. Now, since this is a top stitch, I'm going to increase the stitch length just to, to a three. So I just hit the length button with the arrow going up, and I'll, I'll select a three. And um, the, I'm going to turn on that laser light for her, and we'll, it's and then we're going to move that one back to a quarter of an inch. And so I'm just going to hit the pl minus sign right there. And they do give you, um, this is in millimeters, so we had to kind of, we, we looked it she up. looked it up, what millimeters was, what, what three-eighths of, of an inch was in millimeters. Mm -hmm. But this one, they do give you, um, they'll tell you when you hit like a quarter inch and a half inch, like oh. every, yeah. So there's the quarter inch right there. Mm -hmm. And we really don't need to backstitch on that, so I'm going to turn that off. And you can touch your scissors when you're, when you're done. Done. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there you go. And so she has her little green line there to put the edge of her pocket on. My boots have like a platform on them, so it's yeah, hard to. Yeah, I find that um, when you step, when I have boots on too, it's, it's a different feel of mm -hmm. stepping on the presser foot. Some people like to sew with no shoes on. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, it's kind of like driving with flip flops. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't think You're that's. Not to do that. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, so she came to the end, and she's going to cut the thread with her scissors. Okay. All right. We yeah. Back up yeah, we're going to go back up. Yeah. All right. Yes, yeah, so some people's. Okay, so now we're going to take the pocket back, and... Slipper socks, that's a good idea, like grippy socks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. okay. So we have little marks on here to show uh, where this, where it's going to match up with the pocket top and on the side, right there. And so we're going to put this kind of like that. Okay, so I'm matching up those marks. And we'll just put a pin here. And put a pin there. And then we're going to go turn them around. And we're going to, the first thing we'll sew, and we're going to go back to the serger for this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to sew the edges together. And we got her a chair. We're not going to make her stand mm -hmm. yeah. stand up. Okay, so I'm going to take your shoes off. Though. Mm -hmm. Everyone on in the chat says that they sew without their shoes. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Looking good. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put the pins like far away. But you put, you kind of pulled them out too when you did the other pocket, right? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't, 
I can't sew over needles. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you just wouldn't want to hit them with the blade. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're going to do right now is to sew this, the, you know, so she can sew your pocket together. Okay, okay so we're going to go to the serger, and um, now she has a curve to go around, so you get comfortable, and I'm going to explain the, the feet. Um, so we have it set up for a four-thread overlock, and whenever you sew two pieces together, you know, it's good to use the four thread. Unless you've got a real sheer fabric, real lightweight, then you might want to only use a three thread. But, um, so this is the foot that comes on the, on the machine. And um, so, but we wanted to use the curved foot. Now she did ask me, Sarah asked for a clear foot and they do make a, this foot in a clear. And a lot of people like that because they're able to see. But then we also have um, a curved foot, and we have that in both the meadow and the clear. Okay, do, should I put those down here and you can, okay. And um, so she's going to use the clear curved foot, okay. But there's, we also have it in the meadow. Um, so, and I think that's just, you know, if you, your preference, whether you like the meadow or the clear. Mm -hmm. But I think that the clear is good because you can see a little bit better, right, Sarah? Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to go, so we have, so we're going to put that on. It goes on very easily. Oh, here, this is the, I have to remember what machine I'm on. Let's see. There, okay. All right, now she's gonna sew this here. We'll put this up here for you. And you tuck it under. She did one earlier and she did great. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the other one we had to start down there, didn't we? So we started at the, mm -hmm. so this is a little easier. We're starting up, up at the top where it's straight. And we do want her to cut some off. I'm gonna, we're gonna put the blade um, so you always pick out a guideline for yourself, and her guideline is kind of like the, where the blade is. And she had this surging that she um, put on, but we're gonna we're just gonna take that off, okay? And I come around and just so like yeah, that yeah, is, so okay. Let's see, let's see. I think I can get a good shot of it here. There you go. Okay, and then she's gonna put her foot down and just start to surge and just take your time and then you can take the pins out if you, yeah, or just pull them away, that's right. And then you'll just go slower around the curve. But on the curved foot, it's shorter. So the, the, the blade and, see the blade and the needle are so far apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll explain it when she's done. Okay, yeah, just, you're just going to be careful you don't, that's oh, yeah. a, yeah. Devastating. Mm -hmm. That would be. Yeah. There you go. So pretty good. Yeah, really good. Mm -hmm. She's only used a serger just to finish off the edges of your pants, uh, yeah. Okay. Voila! There you go, okay. And the reason why it's, it's a little bit easier, I should explain this before, that the tip of it, here, let's open this up. The tip of it is here, and the needles are here on the blade, and the, with the regular foot, the tip is way out here. So it just it makes it a little easier to get around the curve. Okay. Okay? And um, so. Mm -hmm. All right, do you want to bring it up here and see it? Um, it's it? not, not done, done yet. Okay. okay. Well, so now, um, yeah, so she's going to pin the side edges and the top, and then we're just going to go and base those in place. I'm like trying to think of which direction I'm going to be sewing from to put these needles in, but we can always change it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that? Yeah. 
Okay, and then you're going to sew, just going to sew this in place at the, the, the top, mm -hmm. and then also just right here on the side seam. So we're going to go over, and isn't that cute with the little yeah. different, uh, her little designer touch? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or am I using the serger? No, you're going to use the, the, the sewing machine. Okay, so the stitch we're going to use for that is they do have a built-in basting stitch. So um, so that is in your, your utility stitch menu, and it is stitch number eight. Okay, now when I, um, this one, uh, you'll notice it's selected a 5.0 um, stitch length. So that, that would be your longest stitch, and it would, um, so a basting stitch is usually something that it's temporary, it's just kind of holding it together until you mm -hmm. get the waistband on and the side seams on. So it, it selected a very um, long stitch, and sometimes the basting stitch is removed, so it automatically selected t a tension of one. The tension's only at one, so if you did need to take it out, it comes out very quickly. You can just pull the threads right out. So, and she's just going to sew this in place. And now it did move the needle over to the left, so she's going to put the side of her foot right against this, the edge of her fabric. Okay, and I'm just going to turn off that laser light now, so we'll turn that off. There you go. And um, usually you don't back stitch on a basting stitch. Mm. Yeah, there's some. Should I start from up here, or? Yeah, you can start like right, um, Just yeah, right here. Right and there? Then, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm. Oh, wrong button. Okay. That was a cool noise. Yeah, then that it, and it, it told her in, in, in words, it said to. Oh, God. There you go. And then you can type that underneath. That's it. Mm-hmm. I've sewed my whole life, actually. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you grow up around, it's easier to, um, just like anything. If you grow up around it, you know the terminology and the the lingo. And should I stop sewing? Yeah, you can cut the thread and thread. take it out. Okay, so there's her pocket. So she's got pockets done. Yeah, really it works. Nice. It works, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I didn't mess it up. No, mm -mm. no, not at all. So it looks really great. And so um, let's see. So, so yeah, your next, uh, do you want to quit there or do you want to do a side seam just to mm -hmm. kind of? I don't know. What does everybody well, think? Do, should we keep going? going? Should we it's keep going? Two it's only two o'clock. Well, let's do a side seam, yeah. okay? Side All right. So that's our next step, and let's see what the how they word it. We'll see. Um, so they said, let's see. I can't wait. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Side seam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then it just says with right sides together, so side seams on both. Um, leg pants. So we're going to take your, you have a front, okay, mm -hmm. and we're going to put uh, right sides together. So we, and then we sew it to a back. Okay, and so this will be uh, this, there we, there we go. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see. Uh, what, let's see. We got a. See, this is where it gets confusing. Mm -hmm. So we have a back here. Fitzgerald 682 says. She Wrong one. like getting out her sewing machine now. Really? Yeah. That's great. We're inspiring Yay. people. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to... Wrong gonna, one? No, no, that's... Oh, that, right, wrong Yeah. Oh. We need... Okay, so you see how we have... This is our side okay. seam. So, and this is our... So we're just doing side Cut seams. Way, yeah. Okay, and we'll pin that together. So, you want to make sure it matches up. Now, we wanted this to match. We really went to... Um, Took great oh, pains. Yeah, we to, did. Yes, and look how nicely it is. Uh, and when we laid this out, we drew on the pattern um, where these beige bars were, there, and then we matched it up. Yeah. So there we go. That's where we'll start right here. So like that. Mm hmm And you can kind of see where the. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we'll take a pin like that, and then right here, you want me to you want to do it? Sure, I'm getting excited too. Yeah. I feel like. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like pin towards the yeah, toward, yeah, pin towards the uh, seam. There's a lot to think about when you're sewing. Mm hmm It gets you out of your the bad thoughts too. Because yeah. there's so much going on with the mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. And then this one was okay. There we go. We'll just kinda make sure it all Fits together no, no. nicely. What is see? Let's see. Ruth Ann said, "If you were using the sewing machine only, the uh, differential feed would would be great." Yeah, we could put that on. Different. Let's see. Let's see if we have one right here. Oh, here it is. I can put that on. You want to do that? Yeah, I'll go ahead and put it on uh, for Sarah. And uh, so, do you want to, while she's pinning, it. you want to? Okay. So, we'll go ahead and. All right. What are, what are you doing? I'm going to put the differential dual feet. Sometimes when you match things up, they say, remember they used to say, use your walking foot when you were working with plaids for those of you who sewed many years ago. So the different, um, the dual feet foot is like a walking foot except it's even better than a, um, than a walking foot. So it will just keep your layers moving together. So, okay, so I'll go ahead and put it on. All right, while you do that, can we sh share some stuff? Sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what do you want to show, Sarah? Um, you said this. Yeah, it's I just a that. tool kit. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. um, what are the The double-eyed needles. Yeah. This is, I think the only way you can get double-eyed needles is in the premium, premium serger tool kit. They're hard to get right now. Mm -hmm. I guess so. That's what Aunt Joni said. Yeah, yeah. We um, they haven't been. A, I use them all the time because when I have to secure stitches, and they, um, Tommy said they haven't been able to get them. They the um, and that's right now. That's the only way we can get them <laughs> is in there. So I think they're on back so order for a long time. Pull chain and smoothly mm -hmm. underneath the serged stitches. Mm -hmm. 
cool. And then it comes with a little pair of snip, uh, curved snips, um, fabric control tool. There's like, oh, and uh, the, that seam ripper looks really cool. Intense. Ultra, ultra pro seam ripper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ultra pro. Ultra. And yeah. Fabric control tool is what it comes with. Yeah. Why don't you say this? Because I don't have a microphone on. Say what all comes with. Okay. <laughs> um, so the serger kit toolkit includes six and a half fabric control tool, an ultra pro seam ripper, three and a half double eyed needles, or two three and a half double eyed needles, and three and a half inch. Uh, double curved scissors. All right, great. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> and Jenny, you over there? You're good. We're fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, um, okay. So we're gonna bring your pants over. And remember, they said uh, th three eighths in seam allowance. So I set that up with the guideline for you. Okay. But, um, so the a digital dual feed is driven. It's driven by a belt, and um, so what that does is it it moves the top layer um, along just just as the the bottom layer is moving. And if you find that um, it's like it's not, we 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 use it to put binding on and things like that. Sometimes you know some the binding just doesn't look like it's going to lay flat in there. You can speed it up to kind of ease in the binding but we're just gonna so and let's just check and make sure it's it's on the um like the default setting for that so we wanted um the yes it is so the dual feed adjustment is right here and you can change it you can go you can decrease the speed of the belt or increase it so um and we found that we do, when we do our um, infinity scarves out of the, um, the, the faux fur, we have to go all the way up to plus 10 on that. But, uh, but this one is just on the default setting right now. And um, so I have, I'm going to select the um, stitch number four. And that one was, when we secure this stitch, it will stitch in place. So we'll select that one. And I'll turn on the... Um, the securing stitch feature, and then also the scissors, and then you have your uh, laser light on. Let's make sure that's on. It's on. Okay, there it is. You can see it right there. So that's on the three eighths inch mark. So let's lay that there, and also you can use this right okay. here on the foot is a little red mark and that that will be on the edge of your fabric and so we'll do that so that's so it's here you have a line and then you also have that mark on the foot okay okay let me go and there's just so it's pretty straight you know Here, uh, just kind of bring that, or just kind of pull on it, pull on that top layer and bring it over. There you go, and hold it with your fingers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now it looks like maybe you're going over a little hump there, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's where the pocket is. Okay. You should be fine. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, oh, and let's gosh. just pull this over. Oh, that's that's fine because that was yeah. a little edge sticking out. Yeah. Ooh, I swerved. It's a lot like driving. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yes, it was really good. For, really, yeah, like whenever you're sewing on um, 
like specialty fabrics too. So a lot of our quilters love, love the digital dual feed and uh, some of them put it on and they don't take it off. And you can get other feet for it. You can get a quarter Yeah, I inch. like this. You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so see, see she likes it. Mm -hmm. um, you can get a, a quarter inch piecing foot and also a stitch in a ditch. You can get an open toe and you can get a quilting bar to put on it. And, um, and we want them to come out with a, the quilt binding foot on for the digital dual feet. We would love that. Now when you end, you're going to end right where your fringe starts. And you're just going to touch your reverse button and it will, it will stitch in place. Yeah, so you touch your reverse button, there you go, and then it will stitch in place, and you're done. And then we're going to take that over, and we're going to press the seam open. Okay. Take the pins out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we'll take, we'll use our um, tool here. Where did that, where did that one go? The tool? Yeah, the... Um, oh, the wool. Yeah, there it is. Okay, yeah. So this will help her. The seams aren't real big. Um, so, and let's see, look at that. Yay! See, they, they match perfectly. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to take this and, and we'll go like that and see you can okay. press those. And you see, since it's curved, it kind of helps it to stay open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll go around the down a little more. Okay. Yeah. And then you'll just go ahead and take that. All right. Okay. Now to put water in that. Oh, it didn't, we didn't put water in yet. Um, I don't know if I can use this no. water. Here, let's get, because it's so easy water. to put water. Oh, there, there. Okay, I, I had some that was flavored. I didn't want to put it in there. <laughs> we didn't but, want um, to propel. To, um, okay, you can stay there. Well, that's fine. Uh, okay, yeah, okay can they, they sure. can see it? Okay, so it's in the cradle, and I can take the tank off, and it will stay there, and so we it won't lose its heat while we're filling it up with water. And then we'll just open this up and you can pour some water in. All the way up? Or? Yeah, yeah, go ahead and, there you go, that's good right there. All right, and then we'll take that and just set it in there. And we're letting it heat up, it's still blinking, so. We'll give it a second. Give it a second? Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you think? How did mm -hmm. you do? Really good. Really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm anxious to see them all together. How about you? I know you. <laughs> so what is left to do? Okay, so she'll do the other seam, and then um, she. we start with the... Um, uh, we have to do the waistband, and we we were talking about the waistband, and see we have this um, all set and ready to go, but we decided to um, you, we were supposed to do you know right sides together mm -hmm. and and turn it, and there'll be a like an outside and an inside, but we're going to use that same cotton fabric that we put in the in the pocket, so it won't be as bulky. Mm -hmm. So we kind of changed yeah. our mind on that after we thought about it. So that the next week's the next time we'll um, mm -hmm. be putting the waistband on. So I think you're all set now. There you go. Okay, that heated up mm -hmm. fast. And, uh, Kathy asked, "What's the name of that bar?" 
for the scenes. Oh, it's just it was a quilting bar, and I think you have it in. Yeah, it's in the bubble now. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Um, so I said, oh, this, oh, this bar, yes. Seam flat pressing bar. Yeah, okay, this, yeah, this is great. This is called the Seams flat pressing bar, and it has New Zealand wool, um, and it's all natural. It's made by Maywood Studios, so it's a Kimberbell project, and it's a very, um, it's, it, you know, of course, it's, it's a very nice um, product, and just like all her product, products are. And it just says, place the seams flat pressing bar on a wool ironing mat. And um, it's, it has the wool on it, so it kind of absorbs some moisture and it kind mm -hmm. of sets the, um, the seam, you know, the pressing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, since it's curved, it kind of helps them to stay open, especially if you're like in quilting when you have lots of seams that are really close together. It's easier to press one without pressing another one. It's easier oh, okay. to press so one it, like, at a time. Raises it up so you're not messing up everything around it. Right. Mm -hmm. That's clever. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. And then right here, this yeah, will be. Yeah, you just kind of have to, there, make it, kind of take it and make it lie flat. There you go. Go to the end mm -hmm. of it. And we'll slide it down. Can't put the iron down, though. What you can, <laughs> you can, yeah, you can put it back in the cradle. She's yeah. just, it's to your left, and <laughs> yeah, and then. Peggy likes the blue side. I like the blue side too. Yeah, you could actually yeah, could have used that. Or like alternate them, have one side mm -hmm. be uh, the blue side and then mm -hmm. the other side, the regular. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I was squirting water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. I got gotcha. you. Okay. All right. So you're done with that. And Whoa. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, it's it's going to be really cute to see how the, her back leg pan has a flower going up the yeah. side. Yeah, really cute. Mm -hmm. So exciting. Yeah. Let's see if it, yeah. I think they might fit. I think I think they'll fit. <laughs> yeah. We did measure, mm -hmm. but right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, someone said, "Do you have a clapper?" This you it's wood on the back, so you could also use that as a clapper. We had um, we used to have them when. I What's was learning. Was I there, was learning. I was learning how to sew. Um, yeah. No, it's yeah. a different one. Yeah. That we don't yeah, have Yeah. This. Yeah. You know, this one. We. I guess we weren't able to get this one yeah. or yeah. something. Yeah. But this. This has the wood on it too. So what you could do is, um, and it, you know, you take your um, your seams and you know press them open or press something flat, and then you could just take this. And we used to just. Kind of slam it down Smack it and hold down. it and hold it in place. So that also has the wood on it. So, mm -hmm. so, okay. Well, good job. Really yeah, good job. really nice. Mm -hmm. um, yay! So, uh, and then what else do we have here? <laughs> so, you have a few items you want to show, and then we'll yeah, have today. okay. Just um, a couple, like whatever you want to do. I don't have see. any of those books in. Oh, but we could do flashlight. flashlight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, I don't, have this one. don't put that in then. Uh, the this. Yeah. Okay. So. <gasps> Oops. Grab my phone by mm -hmm. accident too. Mm -hmm. Um, the Bigfoot beacon flashlight. <laughs> it's awesome. I I've used it last night actually. Whenever um, I was changing my brake pads, and I put it right into the uh, the lift. It has uh -huh. like a bar. This handle fit into it perfectly, so I could see outside, mm -hmm. and it was great. Um, <laughs> yeah, 
who doesn't need an extra flashlight, yes. right? I yes. can resist. It's, yeah. <laughs> and it's um, not battery operated. Yeah. It, it has a USB connector right here. I guess you plug it in and, and it will re recharge. You'll never have to buy batteries again. That's right. So you could even do that in your car too. You could charge it in your car. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it has lasted a long, I haven't even charged it yet and I've used it Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's um, a nice, um, nice flashlight. Mm. And then I have this so simple wallet pattern came in um, at the beginning of this week, and I just thought it'd be a good idea to like take an old pair of jeans or something and make a wallet out of it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you don't have to use the patterns just from the books. You can use other things to use repurposed fabric. Mm-hmm. We want to show like a close up let's of the see, cover yeah. Of so let's see. It says, um, let's see what it says on here. It says minimal, minimal cutting and sewing, easy turning, and no binding or unfinished edges. Um, organized and carries cash, credit cards, and more. Flap closure for secure storage. And it says great for gifts. And there's also included a coupon for a five dollar add on video. Um, tutorial and this is um, by Annie.com and it's with um, one two or three pockets okay so that's that's our pattern just set it yeah yeah it's like Maybe little you see anything you like there yeah so okay. there's like a little change purse All and right. let's see what the size is it's just minimum the wallets are sized to fit in a pocket or small purse and have a flap with a hook and loop closure for securing storage. And, um, and then it gives you how to, all the dimensions and what to, how to cut the fabrics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super cute. Yeah, that's, okay, yeah. You said you were changing brake pads. Is there a couple people? <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't changing them. Oh, what, what somebody you? else was going yeah, to say, please, he, Sarah, don't my change. My friend Dan was <laughs> showing me how. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. this side. The side yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Can I turn off the lights? And yeah, it's it? so bright. Yeah. yeah. So see, the Kathy Booth it's says blinding. It. Me too. And I then, still need something to get into purse curves. Wow. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is really bright. It's really bright. It was shining. It, it goes like 50 feet. Mm -hmm. You can see everything. That's a good flashlight. It yeah. is. Mm hmm Okay. okay. All right. Did we want to talk about the um, Brilliant? Yes, yes, and and the Serger. Okay. okay. So which one do you want to do first? Um, let's do the let's do the Brilliant. Okay. 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 Let's do it out a little bit. Okay. Um, oh. I'll, I'll, uh, bring it out. Okay. okay so. Can do it. Okay. So Sarah was sewing on the Solaris, and it had um, and. It, that's our top of the line sewing machine, but this is really one of my favorites. If you don't want to, uh, you know, expend that much money, or if you need an extra sewing machine, this really is um, one, of, one of my favorite sewing machines. It's the Brilliant, and the reason why I like it so much is. Um, because it comes with so much. It comes with the walking foot and a quarter inch piecing foot, free motion guide, a Teflon foot, and then it comes with all your, all your other basic feet. So all your basic feet are here on a, in a tray, and this is your accessory box, and that slides off for your free arm. Oh, yeah. Put the mic on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can we pause for one second? Sure. See, so it has to go. Get Okay. Right, Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So it comes with so many um, accessories. So you really, when you buy it, you're all set to go. There's that walking foot, and also when you select a stitch, it is um, you just press a button, and you have different menus, and so um, and you get to see a picture of this stitch. So some of our sewing machines, when you select a stitch, you see the number of the stitch. So you're, if you ever don't select the right one, you won't know until you start to sew. So I do like that it shows the picture of the stitch, and also it. Um, you have that automatic tie-off that the Solaris has, and the and the it will 
cut the threads automatically. You just touch these buttons, and when they're lit up, then you have their, um, it, they're active. So it will automatically tie off and automatically cut the, um, cut the threads. You have your tension dial right here, and look at all those stitches. Um, and they're, they're easy to select. So if I want to stitch in this menu, let's say I wanted my piecing stitch, so I would go to the menu that looks like our utility stitch menu, and that is number 25. So I go over here and touch that, and then put in number 25, and there is my piecing stitch, and you can see that the stitch is not in the center. It puts it off to the perfect quarter-inch position uh, for the J foot. And uh, also, the, the threading is so easy. I'll grab a spool of thread, and I'll show you. I can take the one right off here. And is so we start here. And here, I'll put a spool cap on it. And so we'll go over. We follow the numbers on the machine. So we have one and two. And then, so we'll follow that and then go start at one and go underneath and go around and then down there's three and then up through the take up lever so i just go to the back and i kind of pull to the left slightly and it falls into place and then straight down and then right above the needle is a thread guide and then you put that through number seven and cut it over here on number eight and then you take this little lever and yeah, yeah, okay. maybe I'm going too yeah, fast. No, you're good. Go ahead. Okay, then you take this lever and you just push down and it threads the needle. Ooh. Yeah, so it has a really, they call that our advanced needle threader system. And so it's, that, uh, it's one of my favorites. It's not real heavy. I always show people how I carry it. I, I just pick it up with my right hand on the handle and then I'll take my left and I just pick it up like that and I can walk around with it. It's, it's not too heavy. I think it's like 21 pounds. So that's one of my very, very favorite machines. Okay. Right yes. Okay. Now the Triumph, we have a special on it. So this is the, um, we usually sew on the Triumph. It, it is an eight thread machine. We never ever use all eight threads at one time, but um, it, you can do your regular serging and your overlocks um, and, you know, overlock stitching and your rolled edge. Uh, and then you can also do the cover stitch. And so right now, we, this is like your regular four thread um, serger and then you have this and this and that makes it is the cover stitch and everything is color coded for you and it has the jet air threading for both the loopers and the needles and um, it it's, it's very very easy to use and you've got lots of room here see like we're able to put our hands in here and you know to hold our fabric and um, so we have a, a really good special on it. The price on it is $4,999, but you get put back into your account $499. Wow. wow, I thought that was great. I couldn't, that's, that's the first idea. time we've done that. So, um, that, so if you are interested in it, it's a really good time um, to buy. Um, and, and I love it because it has the presser foot lifter in the front. Um, you also have a speed control and also the needles. It's easy to put the needles in. You can see where the top of them are. Um, so you're always sure that you've got the needles up the whole way. Um, and then also the needle screws will not come out of the machine. Um, they kind of they changed that. It used to be the, with the vibration of the machine, sometimes the needles, screws would c come out, but they, they do not come out anymore. They, they're, they're permanent. So that's a really good buy on that machine to get that much to um, $499 back into your account to use at a later time. So, mm hmm. All okay. Right. Well, and it, maybe that's it. That's all we wanted to talk about. Okay. Uh, there's a couple more items. Okay. Are there any questions before we go?
Yeah, anybody have any questions? Yeah, the, someone said the bed space is, is large. It is. It, I love it because you can put your hands in here. It's not hard to thread because, um, mm -hmm. you know, you just don't feel like it's real uh, tight in there. Well, we lost Sarah, so, but I think we're, we're about done anyway. So. Okay. Did we, yeah. we want to show anything else, like the feet or anything? Oh, yeah, the feet. Yeah, so we had the curved foot and the, yeah. Yeah, so this is, let's see. So somebody says, I love my brain. I'm making a bag with it right now while my crescendo is in for its yearly maintenance. Yeah, I, th I love the, um, the brilliant. That's for the, um, mm -hmm. the amount of money you get so much for it. Mm -hmm. um, all I have in here are clear feet. The clear feet, okay. Yeah. So there are, um, the clear foot, is it the clear or the... Um, this one's the green uh, packaging, the clear foot for BLE8, which we said was... Okay, that's for the eight thread machines, and is that is that a reg that's a regular? Um, that's the regular. Yeah, so that yeah. would be this one, this one right here, and um, so that is the clear foot for the eight thread machines. So that would be for your Triumph, the Ovation, um, the Evolution, and the uh, Evolve. So any of the eight thread machines. And you still have, the foot is exactly the same. They still have all those little notches on it to show you where the needles are. Um, but it just makes it easier to see when you're, when, especially if you have decorative threads in. So it makes it easier to see. Then the next one would be for the, the four thread machines. So that would be everything but the Acclaim. The Acclaim is still, it's a four thread machine, but it has its own clear foot. But if you have the Victory or the Imagine um, or the Celebrate, you could use the, uh, the, 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 that clear foot, the one in the hot pink packaging. And then the final one. The final one, that's for the Acclaim. The Acclaim has one. Um, all by itself. So it, it looks like that, um, but it is it is a four thread machine, but it has its own foot. And let's see if, uh, let me see if I have the other, oh, okay, here's the clear curve. Foot. The clear curve, foot, and that one is for the eight thread machine. So that is on the machine. So that would be for the, the eight thread. So for the Triumph, the Ovation, the Evolution, and the Evolve, you have the, the clear foot. And I'll put them right here. You can see that it is shorter than, um, than the other one. And so your um, tip of the foot is closer to your blade, so it makes it a little bit easier to get around the curve. I actually do have the metal uh, curve foot. The metal clear foot, okay. For the eight thread. Okay, so that is right here. So that one is just like the clear, except it's it's metal. Um, it's you know it's just a preference on what you what you like, um, whether you like the clear or the metal one. Um, sometimes the metal though does perform a little bit better on maybe something that's really heavy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's a question that I don't know, but maybe you'll know. Do you have the new overlock cover stitch combined table? Yes, yes, that's right here. That's this one. You can put that in the bubble. It's called, um, oh, no, no, it's not, that's not it. Um, here, maybe this is it. Um, I guess we don't have it up. I have it up here, but it looks like this one. This is the one that comes with the foot and with the with the machine, and but it has a slot in here, and you're able so you can still use your blade. So the um, uh, the um, the part that's cut off, the fabric that's cut off, just kind of falls into place there. It's really nice because it um, you can use it both on the surging side and on the um, the 
cover stitch side. Okay, just so I don't get the r wrong item here. Yeah. This, uh, this is B L O L T. Yes, that's it. That's it. I, yes. Let me let me get a kind of look. Um, yeah, it has that little slot. Yeah, that's it. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, I'll put that in the bubble in two seconds. Okay. So that has that little slit in it, and um, it just came out last August. They went. Um, when we were when they went to baby lock tech and i wasn't able to go but um as soon as i saw it i said oh my gosh that is such a great table because you can use it both on the surging side and the overlock side so it has a place for that upper looper to go up and down Bef um, whenever you use a table you had to use it just for the cover stitch so that means you can use your fabric guide with that table and you can use some other feet um, when you're doing just overlock stitching. All right. And then I think we're, we're good here. Okay. Um, I have tracing paper. I mean... Oh, really? You, you have it? And <laughs> yeah, put it up there if you need tracing paper. We weren't able to use it because of the fabric, but I always, I've, always, I've used it for years. Mm -hmm. And then th this is a, I don't even know what this is. Oh, yeah, this is a tracing wheel. So the, with your tracing paper, you use a tracing wheel. Do we have that in the bubble? We have that in the bubble. Yeah. Okay. The tracing wheel, um, it use, uh, you know, kind of go right over it, and it will transfer the markings from your carbon paper to your fabric. I saw that somebody we, we brought up this. Is yeah, that Sarah here? brought that up. Yeah, she brought this. This is this is nice because it is it has a curved handle. It is a lint brush, but and you know when you're embroidering and you snip on your fabric and you're able to get into your hoop with this. So um, and you could use it, you know, on your clothing too or anything. But it just has that curved handle, and you're able to get into your sewing projects with it that are in the hoop. Uh -huh. And then you used a lot of clips today, so maybe I should put some clips yeah, in the Yeah, yeah, we like the clips. Wonder clips. They, yeah. We like those especially for surging because um, you can't sew through them like we, like you could on a, a pin. Mm -hmm. right. So the wonder clips, those are, here's a bunch of, here's a bunch of them right here. Yeah. So, so those are the wonder clips. Mm -hmm. There you go. And I think that uh, the ones we had is a package of a hundred in a tin case. Yeah, that's. Let's see if we have that here. This is one with a without the lid on it. But okay, they come in a in they come in a cute tin case. They're all different. A hundred and a hundred clips come in those. Awesome. Yeah. And a friction. Oh yes, and this these are and now these come in a set of two, right? Um, this one I think we just have it in as a single. Let me see. Okay. Um, this is blue heat erase. Okay. Uh, we just have a, a one, just the one. Okay, sheet. this this is the felt tip one. That was I was able to use it on Sarah's pants. Um, I like the bold point too. It has a you you get a finer line, but this but you really need both of them. But this one is for the felt tip, and um, it's so you can on anything that has like nap to it, um, you would it would work better to have the felt tip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Well, that That's I think brings us to the end. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and I think it's really been fun um, watching Sarah learn how to sew. So we'll see how she, you know, we'll next time we'll have her come back and sew her pants. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but she's going to finish them. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, material Madness is on Monday. Yeah. Material Madness is on Monday at three o'clock. And they're getting ready today for it. Right, so we should be on time. You. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we try. Okay. All right. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye.